Okay, here's your menu is um, William McKay, and in today's video, Yeah, I want to put this in um in this documents. I want to go over here and go to this one. Okay, and now today's video is called Okay, I'm okay, I'm in too far okay. Went too far, so let me go back up. Right, so. Here. Okay, today's video is called What does the Bible say about single de mile? Okay, that's the name of the video. Okay. And you might think about now if you don't know what Stingo de Mayo is, well it means Vith of May in Spanish. Or it goes to say May fifth. So yeah, it's just Spanish to say May fifth and also Fifth of May. Now so you know how to say this English and Spanish now. But I'll do you all okay, well maybe I'll show you maybe one more language. Mandarin. And then we can because I got already, because I already got this in Mandarin anyway, and both simplified and traditional Chinese characters. So let's start with May 5th. Okay. Okay. Wo we chu wu. Okay, that's how say um May 5th in Mandarin. Now, what about 5th of May? Okay, that's so that would be Wu Yi Wu Hao. Okay, Wu Yi Wu Hao. Okay, so that's how to say um, fifth of May in Mandarin. So that's the different, I guess. So those are the two different ways. So those are the, okay. So those, I guess those are the different ways how to say um, how to say um, I think the holiday of Cinco de Mayo in Mandarin. Okay. Just to get that out of the way, you know, anyway. <laughs> and don't worry, yeah, and I, I got in bold simplified and traditional Chinese characters, okay? So that way, um, you don't have to be so worried about it, okay? Now, now we can read it from Answers in Genesis about seeing Goldie Mile. What you know now you might ask me what what is seeing Goldie Mile, right? Well, I think it's a I think it's a, some kind of battle they had in Mexico, but it was before the independence. And no, Cinco de Mile is not Independence Day. You might th I know a lot of people might think that, but that's not true. As you can see is. Mexican Independence Day is in September. This is in September 16th, and it's called the Cry of Dolores. Yeah, 
Yeah. Mexico became independent in 1810. You know, which makes the United States older than Mexico. And then after that, Canada became independent in 1867. So, um... As you can see is this So why I'm talking about single de mile? So so I think I think Second like Mile I think is a battle of, of what they had in Mexico, but um that's why no you know why do people uh, and you know the, and why do America and why do people here in the United States celebrate it you know well it's because the United States has a lot of influence in Mexico and there's a lot of people here in the U.S. are learning to speak Spanish so that's why. They get into Mexican holidays here in the U.S., you know. Mostly it's here in California and I think Arizona and um, New Mexico and Texas. And probably, I guess it's probably, in, I guess it's probably in Nevada as well. Yeah, I guess it's probably in Nevada too, so... So, yeah. Yeah, mostly. I don't know about any other states, but you can tell me comments below because I don't know. I've been learning about Cinco de Mayo from school anyway. You know, I think most. I think I heard it from. I think I heard it from. I think junior high and also high school, but you know. That's point. So that's. So here, so what can Cinco de Mayo, so what Cinco de Mayo can tell us about the Bible? Well, first of all, the Bible doesn't really talk about Cinco de Mayo, but I guess we can talk about that anyway, so. But at least we can talk about Cinco de Mayo anyway, so please, so let's go read this. So, all this audio reminds a hold fast to the truth. Please, before mentally preparing a ritual to the title, you know what? Cinco de Mayo can tell, uh, what, what Cinco de Mayo can tell us about the Bible does not suggest that Sacred Mayo can teach us the Bible, but only that it illustrates something that we can approach the Word of God by degrees of well, what is Sacred Mayo anyway? Cinco de Mayo, Spanish for May 5th, is not the best understood by simply filling the gaps in our understanding of Mexican festivity with our cultural party day mentality. If we do so we and we do so we may have difficulty obtaining it. Understanding and and any assemblance to the historical event even represents our experiences such as television commercials, class inaugurations, and workplace conversations can simply legitize what we already believe. What this popular day. In other words, if we begin our subjects we based on the American culture about what Cinco de Mayo is, we may well use them to interpret a true historical event, or at least we may unwillingly look for a way to fit what we think we know, the, the construction of the reason of the celebration. Therefore, I suggest the printed begin of the with motivation of popular assumptions about single de Mayo before trying to grasp what really what it really is. Single de Mayo is not Mexican Independence Day. The Mexican Revolution and independence from Spain began on September sixteenth, eighteen ten. The ended victoriously in September twenty seventh, eighteen twenty one. Therefore everywhere in, in Mexico celebrates 
Anguilla de Independencia, the cry for independence on, on September 16th. And it is a big deal there. Um, Cinco de Mayo, on the other hand, relates an event on place 52 years later. Although Spain was directly involved at first, the directly was directly, it was directly between France and Mexico. And mainly, it was difficult to pinpoint exact reason for reasons. Why we, so many have thought May 5th to be, Mex, to be Mexico's Independence Day, but notwithstanding, it's a wrong assumption of not just blooper in the Indianapolis Star article below. Yeah, that's it. Cinco de Mayo is not the official holiday of observance in Mexico, although celebration is the largest cities in Mexico, but not the other celebrated dates of the year. Cinco de Mayo is recognized as official in Puebla, Mexico. In fact, it has not been referred to as much of by phrase Cinco de Mayo, but historically by El Dia de la Batalla de Puebla, the day of the Battle of Puebla. Only recently, mostly due to the internet, of the influence of the U.S. culture, more, more people in Mexico are starting to refer to this day as Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is probably not as popular in Mexico as it is in the U.S. I use the word probably because, probably because it is always room for opposing opinion and and it's difficult to be popular if I live in Mexico and I and I and never observe much enthusiasm about the topic and I have never seen an open celebration on this date and only now I don't see know the uh, how the government is promoting a more fulment national pride. In contrast, the whole country shuts down and joins the Me of the Mexican Independence Day, even though throughout the whole month, leading up to September 16th. By during May years of living in the U.S., Cinco de Mayo was celebrated wildly every year of my adult life. But the public hor horizon in Mexico, though, things are changing. The general Indifference, which I'll be speaking towards Cinco de Mayo, may change soon, partially due to political reasons. Rallying people are passionate to um, discourage anti imperial list propaganda will be helpful in this socialist cause. Um, one of the ways this is accomplished to the inside greater patriotism to distance Mexico from U.S. policy. If citizen states in Mexico for the next few years an example how to deal with imperialism, U.S. policy, influence, even biblical Christianity are treated as imperialistic and by many in Latin America who are fighting for, for leftist ideologies. That said, in, 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 uh, as of 2023, Cinco de Mayo is probably recognized more in the United States than in Mexico, even though there's more confusion in the states about what about what it represents. Early reasons for its popularity in the states are the Good Neighbor Policy of 1933 by President Franklin D. Roosevelt, and submission of better relationship with countries in, in, in the Americas and the Chicano activities of the 60s who, and if I had single de mile, Promote pride, to promote pride for Americans and Latino decent. And then from the 80s until the 80s until today, the festive day has been commercialized into what we know and are familiar with garden pole, street parties filled with gritty costumes, Mexican food, and sometimes loud marachi bands. If you want to know about Cinco de Mayo, it's historically about the we have shit about the 
fig mustache and the sombrero and to take a step back. Once we begin uh, any faulty of starting assumptions, we can begin from the cor correct foundation of the sinister event that took place in Mexico armed with a knowledge of political history, good neighbor policy, Chicano acti activists. We can better understand how the separation blended to the U.S. culture and commercialized the popular but faulty image it is today. What Stingo de Mayo is? By the way, a neology that it, it, it considers the Civil War reaching 1861-1865 in the U.S. and the occurred almost a century of America's independence of British Empire, but the independence was was from without was enough from peace within. A new country would have to agree and put into structure and rights, state versus federal, but definitely something simpler was something simultaneously in Mexico. Although Mexico's innocent struggles were very different from the U.S., and they were still political in nature, Mexico was free from Spain, but politically conservative, politically liberal factions were at sharp odds at each other. With, okay, with each other. Okay, Mexico in 1861, after decades from the liberty from Spain, had recently come out of three years of the of, of Guerra de Reforma, the Reform War. And um, which is um, also a type of civil war, the politically conservative um, conservadores who had taken the Mexico City as their capital. So to continue it's sort of the martial system, martial system, or monarch, okay, monarchical system, similar to medieval fascism um, in Europe. Um, on the other hand, liberalists. Um, whose capital was in Veric okay, Veracruz, fought the democratic capitalist government, and the okay, the United States stood by the okay, okay, liberalists, and the set at its navy defend them in okay, in front okay, in Vera, okay, Veracruz, and the British, Spanish. And okay, and French governments stood by the, confer okay, cons okay, conserver okay, conservadores, and low okay, and loan money toward their efforts. And in December 22nd, 1860, the conservador, okay, the conservadores um, surrendered, and in January 11, 1861, exactly um, three years that the war begun, the liberal president, Benito Juarez, uh, moved back to the capital of Mexico City, but as my, and is any war to happy, ending up was, in, okay, invasive. Mexico now now had a debt to pay, and many groups did not want to submit to be to to a united, free, and democratic system. President Benito Juarez and the Mexican Congress, leading a newly fractured post-war nation, announced on January okay sorry July okay on July seventeenth, eighteen sixty one. That Mexico would suspend any payments for two years, and to the countries who are supposed or support the, the conservadores, Great Britain, France, and Spain, these okay, these European powers um, responded quickly, um, signed the Convention of London, in October thirteenth, eight, uh, on October thirty first, eighteen sixty one, wherein three nations with joint sending military force to collect. Although troops in three countries arrived in the coast of Mexico between December 1861 and January 1862, the delegations of Mexican diplomats only won from remain. Spain and Great Britain refrained acting in the left, and the French will not budge, and the hit sight of the 
sources believe that 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 Spanish and British were mad because they they learned France was planning to take over Mexico to extend its empire, but it was extending it um, what it did. Dobius de okay de Selen okay okay Selegni. French diplomat in Texas was assigned to negotiate with the with the Mexican government on the debt repayment and is decided to invade under the command of General okay, General Charles Ferdinand Natriel on not okay. On okay, on April nineteenth, eighteen sixty two, the French march on the Veracruz with a trajectory toward Mexico City for a takeover. I'll do but tell you, diploma or see what you mile. <laughs> on May 4th, 1862, the French arrived on Emazek, the province of, of Pomima. The on uh, the in May 5th, all prepared under resources, the Mexican army was able to defeat them in Pima, Mexico. Although Battle of Pima was lost, the French would persist in. Marched into Mexico City where they took over and established what referred as the Second Empire. Mexico was again under European Empire. So, um, Vigor III, Mexicalian of Hannesburg, Archduke of Austria, Emperor of Mexico. So, Emperor Napoleon III. A uh, France named Maxa, okay, Maximilian, was relative, okay, is relative and Archduke of Austria to be the new to be to be the new Emperor of Mexico. The U.S. issued uh, statements to disapproval, but the Emperor of her own civil war did not want to get okay militarily involved or. Provoked France to supporting the the con the, con the Confederates. However, the U.S. Alice, okay, Alice's S. Grant and Philip Henry Sheridan began to okay began convert support of okay harass um against the French imperialist regime. Um, Emperor Mexicalian's success would be short lived. After losing the support of Conservadores, which originally embraced his, or his arrival deal in dealing with his constant unrest by the liberalists of uh, the official U.S. support, the French Treasury was blending out. So on January 31st, 1866, Napoleon III ordered the three-stage plan to withdraw the French troops from Mexico, Maximilian, though they had to leave his um, lost empire. Mexican President Benito okay, Juarez returned to power and Maximilian was consistently executed. Okay, in short, Andia de la Batalla de Pobla, May 5th, is nationality official holiday where Mexican citizens remember the battle who were their descendants and outman. The Some figures estimate that the two or th that the three or two and others two to one. Although the French troops did continue after their defeat to take over Mexico City and battle and Pobla stands forever a national reminder and the need to resolve strength when numbers and our gun. These, uh, these soldiers on May 5th be diligent, brave, and strong in battle and remind us of Apostle, Paul, uh, remind us of the Apostle Paul's instruction to the church to be watchful, brave, and, and strong in the faith of our Lord in 1 Corinthians 16 verse 13. What, but what about Second Mile in the Bible? Returning of our title, many of us today 
were born into the culture I was in. Some ways continues to be influenced by the gospel, setting through the cultures back, and understanding acknowledgement of the history, efficiency of and the authority of scripture, result of the Christian terms. Eth okay, eth okay, eth okay, ethical structures. And the best okay, uh, okay, and vestiges of biblical mandates, with no idea about the source, how far from scripture they have become. Therefore, many of our culture here in scripture something that does not jive with most partner tolerance. They either reject our faith, outright dismiss the authority, okay, authoritative an exclusive nature of scripture by suggesting and imposing under uh, okay other ideologies and mysticism throughout we are witnessing relatively speaking a consensus wherein the bible is considered only helpful and good as long as they assist a person's quest and drive for this of our of our terms the god who created everything in six days who judges sin E.g., with the global flood, is just not what people lost in Sid want. But only God of Scripture saves. The only one true God show grace in His Son to find us and pay the penalty of our treachery and bring us to Him. Our duty as Christians is to tell is tell the world the truth in Scripture, from cover to cover. And if the world is shocked that God's word is, sounds nothing like what we have been suffering throughout our life, they either, repent, they either repent or reject it, even if they modify it their likeness. Their like, okay, likeness. It is still rejecting God's word. But we, on the other hand, may, may instead of standing firm from the truth uh, on the truth of God's word. Because the Exodus makes known Jesus is the only, and only through Him can our spiritual blindness and be healed and see the revealed glory of God. The gospel needs to good, good neighbor policy act of his on the criminalization retain relevance. The gospel has been his will always be relevant. On this single de mile, people will across the U.S. will celebrate. Well, most people will, well, most will probably not be celebrating victory uh, uh, in Puma for the Mexican troops. Some day, some may live their lives year after year, thinking that they celebrate Mexican Independence Day, but ultimately, this ignorance of the historical truth is is uh, knowing an internal consequence. I have no conviction to preach historic, historicity and re a real event in 19th century Mexico. But we should concern that many today of the suffering something else that have been twisted by cultural tradition. We should go as many many ways unwillingly and defy as church goers or Christians, but have a socially formed understanding that is not founded in the Bible. We shouldn't be aware that um that many are hoping in a crucified mimigation and postmodernism, post truth and external okay, just okay, ex existentialist humanism. We should have okay, we should tremble to think so wrongly know they call something and call and call it call the name Jesus, and we should not we, we okay we, but we're not recognize the true glorious King Jesus who become he can become flesh two thousand years ago, and they need to know the eternal and majestic Jesus God the God the Son, though whom God the Father created the Word, the one who sustains the world in. Kina die in the place of many. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse, Hebrews 1, verse 1 to 3. We should fear, and many on that uh, final day who will only know Jesus, the judge and the Lord of all, and not as Savior and their loving Lord.
So this was in Hebrews chapter 1 verses 1 to 3 and also Acts 17, Acts 17 verse 31 and then Okay, and also Philippians chapter chapter 2 verses 9 to 11. Okay, such fear would not be fantastic. Okay, but, okay, fantastic or paralyzing in Second Timothy chapter one verse seven, but rather in a healthy preoccupation and well-being of our neighbor. Um, we must respond to those who caught up. Okay, those to those caught up in these festivities of life in Matthew chapter twenty-four verse thirty-seven thirty-nine with no regard to what is the vowed. Bond, okay, filmed of joy and life. The world is laughing but aware. A truly good reason to rejoice. And we must not, and we must not consider ourselves any better. It is the only by God's grace and, and that we know Christ and something real to celebrate. Those of us who were raised hearing of Jesus Whether by family or, so, or society, essentially had no idea, of, had okay, had okay, sorry, had an idea of Jesus based on a dead, sinful heart. But those who had the Spirit work in their hearts now and truly know Him are known by Him. One of the ways that we celebrate is to share the wonderful truth of Christ, and that is share the Christ who bodily suffering that which we they do not know. Okay, so that's what single D Mayo is, okay? So it just means so this just means fifth of May in Spanish. Yeah. So now you know what single D Mayo is. I don't celebrate single D Mayo. But I've been learning about it from school, that's why. Anyway, if you sit by single day mile, you know what, that's fine, you know. I also got this. So happy single day mile. Happy and special be Felice. So um, I I guess you can say everyone staying in Spencer will be Felice. I'm single de mile. But that be a sense of it. So that's good to um, how to get saved according to the Bible. The point of any false religions is that damn souls to hell. And they go to heaven to believe our Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation is by faith alone, grace on Jesus Christ alone. And once you say by easy beliefs in the truth, then you, you can't lose your salvation. Once you say it's over by easy beliefs in that salvation is easy to do as believe in Jesus Christ for salvation. And I'll be talking about next video. Well, yeah, it's called What is the Bible about, Vic about Victoria Day? And that's a holiday in Canada. So, I don't want to, I'll get to that next video, you know. The holiday that's in Canada, Victoria Day. Okay, I'll talk about that next video. Because it's going to go right now. But thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Bye.